Um, a strange ending to the game here in the Gaelic grounds as Tipperary seems to think they've won by a point. Yeah, I am. Um, and actually, the Tipperary bench came to us there about 10 minutes to go and said that the scoreboard was wrong and that, that it was a draw game at that stage. Um, so again, we, did, we asked the referee, we went into the referee, the referee calls it, he says it's 17 to 10. Um, so we're happy enough with that. And you're going to take that, of course. But look, Limerick well matching Tipperary today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, and I suppose in hard luck not to pull away with the wind or with the win. Um, I suppose when when uh, Rebecca went off injured there, I'd say kind of it, t- it took took us a while to settle back into the game again. Just that little bit of uh, momentum that we had there going into that six or seven minutes in um, injury down there for Rebecca. Um, not a nice thing to see on the pitch when you when when the league is away and. It affected him a little bit. It took him a few minutes to get back into the game again and uh, and to try to push forward. Yeah, I just went in to see how she was. She seems in good spirits, but she knows herself. I think that something could be wrong. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. There's definitely something wrong. But um, look, she's a great girl. You know, no doubt. If once once she finds out what the prognosis is, she'll she'll be back very as, as soon as she can. She worked hard on it. Um, she'll be a loss for for the coming weeks. Um, like she was in there to. To push our forwards forward, you know, and, um, and she's a girl. UL as well. Yes, and UL are going to miss her now next week as well, which is a disaster. That's not going to be an easy phone call to Adrian there later on. But um, look, uh, we, we look after her, we'll get, uh, get her into the hospital there now and uh, see what, what happens after that. What was the weather like outside? I know the pitch was quite hard, the girls were saying. Yeah, the pitch was, pitch was quite heavy actually. I was surprised with it. Um, because over the last couple of weeks we've been working on fast pitches and balls have been flying past you know and it's a big change even there even in LIT the, the pitch was in good condition there we were, we were playing a lot of Holland there whether the game beforehand affected it or not but it is it's quite heavy out there it's quite heavy What do you make of the new rules how do you, how do you find the girls adapting to them? Well, they're, they're taking to them um, and again it, 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 I think it's for the better Komogi speeding up the game like they're good rules they're just like anything else they're going to take time to set in um, I think it's a great initiative for the county board to really take these six on and see see where it takes us if they don't work they don't work if they do they do and I think that's the message that the Camogie Association are sending out there so yeah I, I, I'm for it anyway so it's, it's, it's hopefully if it speeds up the game Would it have been nice to see the girls playing before the hurlers today? Um, I think that option was there at, earlier on um, but I think going back over history there's an hour and a half break between the girls then and the boys for between because they need their warm ups for the hour beforehand and I think it's not nice. I think it's not nice. Uh, we wouldn't have had the crowd probably, I suppose, even at the start of that but match. You still have had maybe ten thousand towards the end of the twenty minutes, which would have made something different. Yeah, seeing people seeing leave people is quite hard. Do you know what I mean? It is. It is hard. The girls, and that's one thing I said to them: to take no notice. Yeah. Yeah, don't let us because it's happening. But even at that, uh, I think the protocols were we would have been off the pitch an hour and fifteen minutes before the start of the Northern game, so there wouldn't have been a crowd in there anyway. You know. Yeah. You have a break, I think it's Galway now, two weeks? Uh, three weeks, three, three weeks, weeks to Galway and yeah, to look, hoping to get a, a few of the new girls. We had two new girls in today and they were just outstanding or Aura Kelleher was outstanding and Noreen. And look, in fairness, I think the whole Limerick team out were outstanding today. This first day game out, we've only two challenges match, matches played, we've only training for six weeks, seven weeks, you know, um, three weeks on the field. So there isn't a lot of hurling done yet, but um, they really stood up to it today. Aura, they got that magic point there. The magic point, I tell you, she's, <laughs> she's dedicated that one. Uh, just a word on her actually like she's, she's, she's doing her leaving search she's doing her pre's on Monday morning and she's just a fo- very focused girl and I'd say she'll go a long way she's everything sorted to a T with regards to study and balancing the, the, the hurling as well so we wish her well on, on Monday yeah of course good start today congratulations no the brother thanks a million thank you